guys, welcome back to another episode of me unpacking this house. Um, I just woke up in a terrible. It is Saturday. I think it's the 5th. But this episode is going to be mainly me unpacking stuff and moving stuff around and then it's probably some occasional hauls. So I got these three Amazon packages yesterday and I waited to open them with you guys to show you what I got because it seems like you guys have been really wanting the hauls and a couple people got mad at me because I only posted a haul to Patreon. I want you guys to keep in mind Patreon members pay extra money for extra content. So please don't get mad at me for that. They're literally paying for it. But I will still, you know, be showing stuff that I get when I decorate and stuff. I just posted the straight up, like just me talking haul and showing everything on Patreon. So let's open this up. Oh, this is a gift. So my Amazon wish list is down below. I guess somebody bought something from my Amazon wish list for the house. So this is, it's all wrapped all cute and everything too. Doesn't say anything on it and I don't want to open this up yet because it'll spoil it. So that's so cute and you even paid for the extra packaging. That's totally not even necessary at all. Feels like pictures. Oh I think that's what it is. Okay I think this is the wall art that I had on my wish list. I'm gonna open it and see. I put a bunch of different wall art on my wish list. So here's some of the wall art so you guys can kind of get an idea of the vibe that we're going for in this new house. Colorful flowers, rainbows, bloom where you are planted. Aw, <laughs> how inspirational. Yeah, so I'm gonna frame those and I'm probably gonna like spray paint and color a bunch of frames to like make them rainbow and then put these in there. Now I need to see who sent them. For your new house, enjoy. Oh, this is from Sarah. I, uh, Sarah is great. Sarah has been a supporter of mine for a very long time. And Sarah also has many guinea pigs, which we relate on. So thank you so much, Sarah. That's literally so nice. So nice. All right, let's go ahead and open the next one. Oh, I forgot that I ordered this. This is a um, pet food silicone mat to put the water fountain on that I ordered. I think the water fountain is coming tomorrow. I ordered a new pet water fountain for all of the pets. I do have water bowls near the cat area that I'll probably keep there too. The, the animals really enjoy the water fountain and the cats like to put their little paws in it. So I just got a pink mat that's shaped like a cat to put it on to keep the floor from getting wet because it's like a silicone material. And then I believe this package right here is my bed sheets. So I got two things of bed sheets here. This one is for my actual bed. I got this one for the bean bag down there because the bean bag is also gray and I'm just not vibing with the color. So I got a queen, green queen sheet to wrap around it just to give it some color. And I think the bean bag is going to be moved into my bedroom once we get the bed and everything built today. Yeah, I got, I just got a plain fitted sheet. That's it. I don't think it came with pillows or anything like that. And then this is a whole queen sheet set. I do have a full bed, but I always buy queen sheets because they just seem to stay on the bed better. So. This comes with the flat fitted and two standard pillowcases. And this is just a light pink color to match the bed comforter that I showed you guys in the last video. So as you guys can tell, I'm going for a lot of pinks and greens and colors. Pink and green was like the main colors that I wanted to stick with because I love that color scheme together. It's very like magical. But now um, I'm waiting for my parents to get here. My parents are coming. I do have to work today. It's eight in the morning right now and I work from one to five. So I'm just waiting for them to get here and they're going to put my security system up for me. Well, my dad is because I don't know how to do all the electrical wires and everything. He knows how to do all that. And then we're gonna build my bed and then probably help me unpack some things.
Alright, as you guys saw, me and my boyfriend unboxed all of the book boxes. We just threw all the books up here. It's giving chaos. It's, it's, uh chaotic. I don't have the energy to set all of the books up right now where they need to go because that always takes me forever. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. I think the beanbag actually fits pretty well right there. As you can see, Claudine is uh, very cuddly in there. And once I organize all of the books, which will probably be in like a couple of days, then I'll unbox these boxes too because these are just like decorative things that go on the bookshelves. And then put the rug down and everything that I bought to put there. I bought a flower rug from Walmart. I actually bought two rugs from Walmart. So I have a lot of stuff that I need to crochet for Patreon. I also want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has been supporting me on Patreon this past month. Haven't had this many supporters on Patreon in a while. Really been helping me. You guys are literally the best. Thank you so much. So I really do appreciate my Patreon members. You guys are the best. But yeah, I, mean, I need to crochet. It's probably what I'm going to do the rest of the night. Uh, I do have to go back to work tomorrow, but tomorrow I have some stuff coming in the mail. The things that I did today, I put a protective privacy film over my front door because you can see through my front door and I don't like that. <laughs> so I put a rainbow privacy film on the door and it looks really cool and it works really well. So when the sun comes through, you can see little rainbows, which is really cute. And then of course I unboxed all of the book boxes. So that was a big task. And then um, outside, guys, uh, I realized today there's these two huge trees in my backyard and I'll show the footage um, on the screen so you guys can see it. I have two trees that are like parallel to each other in my backyard and I wanted to put like bird feeders on it. But then when I walked over there, I noticed that there's like these metal hooks that are embedded into the trees so I can put a hammock out there. And I've always, always wanted to have a hammock where I can lay outside and I can read on it. So now, I have like a dream reading spot. So I found a hammock that I really liked on Amazon. I put it on my Amazon wish list and I'll buy it eventually when, you know, a hammock is not a priority right now. So eventually I'll get that. And I'm really, really excited to lay outside in the woods. And then also I forgot to show this. I got a new water fountain and a little mat for the animals. It's a little pink water fountain. I'll put it on my Amazon storefront. It was very affordable. It was the only pink one I could find. And it's really, really cute. It literally looks like a little sink and the cats and the dogs really like it, so. and you might have saw this from some of the footage yesterday. I rearranged this whole room thanks to, it's either Cassie or Casey. I don't know if I said your username wrong. I'm so sorry if I did. They recommended a new layout for the house and I knew that this house had the possibility for a better layout. I just couldn't visualize it in my mind. And then that comment gave me the visualization. The room still looks a little awkward. Like it still feels a little awkward because the TV is so far away, but also the TV is still on the floor and the books aren't organized and there's still stuff everywhere. I think once like the house is like completely organized and everything, it's going to feel a lot better, but like there's so much more room in the living room now. It's open and it doesn't look like it's blocked off into sections. So I really do like that. So I'll show you guys that in a second. I filmed it and posted it on TikTok already and you guys are seeming to like the layout. So I'm happy with that. And I got home to an Amazon package. I haven't ordered anything. So I think it may be a gift or maybe my parents ordered something. Maybe a gift. I see some papers. All right, it says something for the new house and something for your video series from L Bond, which I believe is from Lisa, who is a supporter of mine on Patreon, YouTube, literally everything. Lisa, you're literally the best. I don't know what's in here, so we're gonna see it together. Oh, 
this totally makes sense. Okay, so this right here is a crochet kit. Okay, the dogs have like full blown zoomies right now. So this is a crochet beginner kit that I put on my Amazon wish list. And if you guys have been watching the series, I'm currently doing a series where I try beginner crochet kits or popular crochet kits online. And this one looked really cute and fun. So I will add this to my stack. I currently, this is the third one. So I have one and then I have Woobles, which is sitting over there. And then I have this one. So it's gonna be a little while before I do this video, but stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to make this. And then, so that's for the series, she said. And then this is for the house. I think this may be kitchen towels. Yay, I actually needed some new kitchen towels. Hey, what are you doing? The animals are so chaotic right now. I needed some new kitchen towels and these are pink. I think these were on my wish list. I'm not too sure. I, I've been adding so much stuff to my wish list. I don't even know anymore. So we've got one, two, three, four pink kitchen towels. This is perfect. Perfect, I really needed these. Thank you so much, Lisa. This is so, so helpful. Got some cool new things. Um, I need to crochet, honestly, right now. That's like my, my, my bleh, that's my main priority because I am hella backed up on Patreon subscription box stuff because uh, the move backed me up a lot and then some stuff in my personal life has been happening, especially today, that has been happening too. And I'm just like really stressed out. So I'm trying to like stay calm and not have a panic attack. <laughs> yeah, um, it's four o'clock now and I'm probably just gonna crochet the rest of the night. If I get a sudden burst of energy, I will organize the books and then try to clean up this room at least so it looks really neat and then maybe put down some of my new decor. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I have a full face of makeup on for the first time in almost a month. I think of wearing an actual full face of makeup. I just, just like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it today. Didn't do my hair because it needs to be re-dyed desperately. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to prove that I'm still wear makeup because I just haven't worn it in so long. I do have to leave for work in about 20 minutes. Um, this morning I did make my bed with my new comforter and sheets and everything. So I'll just go ahead and show you that. Also update on the room. Still haven't done the books yet. I think I may do the books tonight. There's the entryway, the couch, the dogs. Still a mess, but it's better than it was. And I got through some of these boxes this morning too. So I think once all of these books are like completely organized and they look really pretty and all of this stuff is off the floor, then it's gonna look really nice in here, like putting the rugs down and everything. So that'll be probably later. In the bedroom, my fan is on, so it may be a little loud. We've still got some boxes and laundry here, but here is the bed. Yes, the comforter is very wrinkly. I unfortunately do not have an iron or anything that I can use to get the wrinkles out. Well, I do have a little steamer, but I don't want the steamer to make it wet. So I'm just gonna let it unwrinkle over time because that's that's not really that important for me. Um, do I think this comforter set is worth $75? I don't think so, honestly. It's really soft, but it's like a weird like foam material on the inside. So it does wrinkle like so easily. And you also have to like pull it apart and you can like feel the foam like unwrinkling itself on the inside. And it's just like a really weird. So it is cute. I don't think it's $75 cute. The sheets on the other hand, these bed sheets, they were only like 15 or 20 bucks. And these are so soft and they're really nice. So I will definitely buy more of that brand of sheets. And then my little pillow that I got from Five Below, I felt like that would match really cute. So, I mean, this is really cute setup and I really like it. And I can put a bunch of like cute pictures on the walls. The headboard is still not all the way up. It's going to be like higher. And the footboard is also gonna be there. But like I said, I don't have any screws for right now. Thank you for sneezing on a bed. So rude, so rude. And then the beanbag doesn't fit anywhere in this damn house. And I don't know where to put it and I don't wanna throw it away, but it does not fit. I may just get rid of the green chair. Well, not get rid of it, but just like put the green chair in the living room in storage and put this back in the living room because I sit on this beanbag more than I sit on the green chair. I don't know, I just have too much, uh, too many chairs and lounging furniture for the size of this house, unfortunately, so. I don't really have any other updates. I feel like I really haven't done that much, but I have been working back to work every single day, so I don't really have time to spend all day unpacking. But fortunately for me, I get a long weekend, so I'll have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to work on the house. And my goal for this weekend is to get my desks in here 
get all of these boxes unboxed and get my two desks in here so I have my computer and everything set up again and all of those boxes will be out of there and then I'll be able to start clearing the garage because the desks will be out of there. I can bring my yarn storage in here, um, undo all of my yarn. I don't know how long this video has been so far, but I'll update you guys when I do something. I completely undid all the boxes in the entryway here and I did some vacuuming and stuff. So pretty much the living room until I decorate is like everything is where it needs to be. Tomorrow I am going to be setting up my office space, everything, but my parents need to come help me because I can't carry my desks into the house by myself. So yeah, I don't know if this video will have that, but the next video probably will. But before I ended this video, I wanted to unbox an Amazon package because I didn't order anything and I got a delivery. So I'm assuming it's a gift from somebody. Like I've been collecting all this home decor. I have it like all in a little pile. I'm not gonna fully have this house decorated for probably years. I mean, the last house I was in for two and a half years and I still didn't decorate half the rooms. So it's a process. This stuff is actually from a wish list that is not YouTube appropriate. <laughs> So never mind. It was a gift, but not for the house. So I will not be showing those. But um, I just spent the morning unboxing a colored e-reader for my reading channel. It's in here. I'm very excited. I also put on some nails that I had. Wanted to show those off because they're probably only going to last a couple of days with me moving out and moving and cleaning so much. They're just going to fall off probably. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. I've having so much fun filming all of these honestly thank you to the recommendations for the things of the house so far thank you to the people who have been buying gifts from my amazon wish list i am just so grateful for you and i'm probably gonna go dye my hair so thank you guys so much for watching check out all my links down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye